Jenny watches as their softball team pitcher performs her windmill delivery and slings the ball to the catcher's waiting mitt. This is not the natural way that most people throw a ball, but it is really effective. When she gets a chance, she tries it herself. Her first pitch goes wild over the head of the catcher. Her second is adjusted and the catcher is able to jump up and grab it. The third is a little too low, but it, it is enough to tell Jenny that she knows what to do. She has the potential to fling the ball at high speed using the windmill delivery. She thanks the catcher for being so patient with her and goes on to batting practice. So what has Jenny accomplished? Has she learned how to pitch or just how to sling the ball with great force toward the catcher? Her first valued result is knowing that she can take this action. To actually use that knowledge to become a pitcher as a part of the team, she would have to become accurate and consistent in delivering the ball. To use that knowledge as a working process, she would have to practice. She would have to do it over and over until she was able to be consistent and effective. So it is with our use of results-driven approach. It takes only the first few lessons with a black box thinking to realize what you can do this, that you can seek out what will have value, that you can make gaining this value into your purpose. But if you would use this, it will take practice. It is a new mental discipline, and like the windmill pitch, it is not one commonly encounter in today's society. To use it, you must practice. You must work with it until using it no longer requires great effort. The catcher tells the coach that Jenny was able to do this motion when most of the girls seem to have no interest in even trying. The coach, always looking for Shirley to have a backup, calls Jenny over and asks if she would train to be their fill-in pitcher, giving the team some more depth. If Jenny is to become the next pitcher, she is going to have to practice to the point where she no longer has to concentrate on just slinging the ball, but has the additional ability to focus on the game and what you must do as, as pitcher to deal with the batter at the plate and the catcher who provides guidance. So it is with most students who are learning to focus on their own accomplishments instead of what they do. The lesson in this section may still have value beyond simply being received. These presentations provide practice in focus and direction in keeping attention on results instead of just repeating what people have done before. The lesson is a simple one. Do not be shy about reviewing these lessons, repeating them so long as they are useful. You, as a person who is new at using result-based thinking, will have different needs and wants than when you come back to rest still more value by practicing with focus. The value in these lessons is not just knowledge of what to do or how to do it, or even the purpose to be served. The value is in the impact upon you and your future, and that value will grow and change as you grow and change. Is there yet more to learn from our basic black box? It is not learning the basic meaning and purpose but there is so much to learn when it comes to application. Lessons addressing subjects that have previously been left a chance, answering to that slow but effective teacher we call experience. There is a whole new world of possibilities when you begin to apply it to your personal wants and needs. It can be a tool to keep your own focus on seeing the opportunities for your investments in your future. There is a whole new world of possibilities when you begin to apply the black box approach to interactions with other people who are seeing to their wants and needs as best they are able. There is a whole new world of possibilities when you realize that most of our advancements in knowledge come only through working with others, finding those things that will achieve results valued by others as well as by you. One by one we will be examining such things, and with each step we will grow in reliance upon the purpose-based approach that we find in these first few presentations. It is the simple concept of the back black box, which does nothing but eliminate distractions that opens these new worlds for teenagers to move in and take part in education. As with Doug the Caveman, who we encountered in the first lesson, these are powerful tools in the hands of a craftsman. Like the hammer, these are tools designed for human use. 
They are for the builder of tomorrow's cities and civilizations.